What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Grand Canyon versus UT Arlington college basketball matchup going down Saturday, March 16th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Grand Canyon and UT Arlington. It's the WAC Conference Championship going down at the Orleans Arena. Grand Canyon knocking off Seattle 80-72 to to get to this point, while UT Arlington took out Tarleton State, one of my favorite teams this college basketball season, 87-84. And, uh, you know, Grand Canyon won both meetings in the regular season, have now won all four meetings against uh, against UT Arlington since Arlington came over from the Sun Belt. Um you know, they won the first meeting, Grand Canyon did, 76-69, and then won the rematch, 67-61, at UT Arlington. And, you know, Arlington has had issues, like I said, with Grand Canyon, but, you know, since those losses to Grand Canyon, I mean, this has been a different UT Arlington team. I mean, you know, the last loss they took was to Tarleton State, and it was a th- it was a two-point loss there. They did have a frustrating loss to Cal Baptist, but outside of that, more often than not, this team has had no problem putting points on the board. 76 against Southern Utah, 87 against Utah Tech, 89, 90, 89, 72, 78, and 71 in six straight wins to close out the year. And that's not even mentioning the 109 they put up against Stephen F. Austin in the first round of the tournament and then 87 against Tarleton yesterday. So this UT Arlington team has found something offensively, and they're third in the conference in offensive efficiency, first in three-point shooting. Fourth in two-point shooting, their third in free throw shooting. Grand Canyon's defense has been rock solid. First in offensive efficiency in the WAC. Uh, first in effective field goal percentage defense. First in two-point defense. But here's the thing. UT Arlington, they are gunslingers. They shoot from behind the arc a ton. They shoot the third, uh, excuse me, the, the most uh, three-point attempts per game in the WAC. You know, they're, a third of their points are coming from behind the arc. That's the most uh, point distribution by way of three-pointers of any team in WAC conference play. So... UT Arlington, they live and die by the three, and I think they have a good shot to to live by it here. You know, that's the one area of the floor where you can really attack uh, Grand Canyon's defense is behind the arc because they're fifth out of uh, 10, excuse me, 11 teams in the WAC in uh, in three-point defense. It's their weakest metric. Grand Canyon's offense has been solid like it has all year long. I mean, first in offensive efficiency, first in free throw shooting, and then what could be a tight game, you know, you obviously want the team that's going to be able to hit their free throws late. And, uh, you know, UT Arlington's second highest free throw rate allowed on the defensive end in conference play. Grand Canyon also second in two-point shooting, third in three-point shooting. And like I said, in the two meetings that Grand Canyon had this season, they won uh, against UT Arlington. They held the Mavericks to 61 points and, uh, and 69. But the thing is, the first meeting came at Grand Canyon in December when Grand Canyon was just a much better team. And, you know, Arlington was having some inconsistency issues. Since, you know, the, the calendar flipped to 2024, you know, UT Arlington's had some inconsistencies as well, but for the better part of the year, I mean, they played well. They went from one and three in conference to 13 and seven. So a 12 and four run and they've been picking up, you know, wins left and right and been able to put up points against, you know, some similar opposition. Like I said, they, they you know, narrowly fell short against Tarleton in the most recent meeting. And uh, they also fell against them earlier in the year. But again, they were competitive in both of those games. And I think they can be competitive here with a conference title on the line, a spot in the NCAA tournament on the line as well. And I said, this UT Arlington team is solid. They're 23-8 and eight against the spread this season. I just think this is too many points for a cha- conference championship. I know Grand Canyon is legit. And I know that Grand Canyon has a great shot at making the NCAA tournament. Um, but I don't expect Arlington to go down without a fight here. I'm going to take UT Arlington plus a 6.5. And, and that's going to be my pre-pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at PickDogs Premium. While you're at PickDogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at PickDogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.